Convicted in the killing of eight-year-old Tory Stafford, Michael Rafferty is sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. Locked away in maximum security, where Tory's family expected he'd stay. But in late 2018, Tory's father, Rodney Stafford, learned Rafferty had actually been transferred months earlier to a medium security facility in Quebec. After seeing his daughter's other killer transferred to an indigenous healing lodge earlier in the year and only sent back after public outcry, Stafford was fed up. Their whole goal is to try to make it lighter for or make it easier for the criminal to rehabilitate to get back out onto the streets. The public safety minister at the time insisted Rafferty's new facility specializes in dealing with sex offenders, but that's not good enough for Rodney, his family, and a surprising new ally. And Michael should probably be in a maximum security facility as opposed to a medium security. A relative of Michael Rafferty stepped forward to help Rodney try to get Rafferty back into maximum security, claiming the convicted killer had also been extorting money from his mother from behind bars. He had been reaching out to his mother uh, on a regular basis uh, and sort of, um, you know, getting money uh, sent to him and sent to uh, what seems to be inmates' uh, spouses. Um, claiming that uh, he was fearful of his life, that he uh, had owed people. Speaking on condition of anonymity, this relative does not believe Rafferty was really in constant danger in prison, but that he was just manipulating his mom to help him pay other prisoners back, allegedly for things as basic as junk food from the prison canteen. So basically, these people are going to beat me up if we don't pay them, but really they're not threatening to beat him up, they're doing favors for him and he's paying them back. That's correct. He provided us with a folder filled with copies of checks and money order receipts to people mostly in Quebec, but as far away as BC. Rafferty's mom lived in Ontario. Who are these people? I, I honestly don't know who they are. We've got boxes and boxes of them, but there's probably the equivalent of uh, $30,000 worth of money that is sent through to other people out there. Just here, so this isn't even it? That's not all of it, no, no. We tracked down and contacted several of the people listed on those documents. None of them would corroborate this relative's claims. We reached out to Michael Rafferty himself. He refused comment. Rafferty's relative says they repeatedly asked Corrections Canada to stop the calls to no avail, and that he emailed back and forth with officials there for most of 2019, sending them details and copies of those receipts. And we have yet to hear anything further from that. In a statement, Corrections Canada tells Global News it does review information about inmates brought to their attention from both victims and families, but that, citing the Privacy Act, it cannot comment on Rafferty's case. Michael Rafferty's mother, Deborah Murphy, died of a heart attack in 2018 at the age of 60. The stress of the constant phone calls and uh, the struggle financially to try and keep supporting uh, him in prison uh, was just too much for her. Rafferty's relative hopes sharing their story will reopen the conversation about Rafferty's move to medium security in solidarity with Tory Stafford's family. Like I think that he's just a person who has his own agenda and that's, he's out for number one and that's it. It's very disheartening and to know that his family is willing to make those steps as well to do what's right in this case, it's, I couldn't, I couldn't appreciate it anymore. Mark Carcassel, Global News.